opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. Nx e5 captures the undefended e5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. d4 takes space in the center, controls the e5 and c5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. d5 takes space in the center, defends the knight on e4 and controls the c4 square. bd3 develops the bishop, attacks the knight on e4 and prepares castling. And c6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. One rupee puts the rook on a central file and adds an attacker to the knight on e4. Bg4 develops the bishop and pins the knight. The knight is now adequately defended. This is the only move that works. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This threatens to double the pawns in front of the king. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This stops the opponent from being able to double the pawns in front of the king. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is the last book move. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is excellent. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This prevents the opponent from being able to take an outpost with a knight. It is good. This threatens to kick a knight. It is excellent. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a knight. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is best. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a knight. It is a mistake. This moves the bishop to safety. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is best. This connects the rooks which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. Capturing that knight wins material. It is excellent. Takes back. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a miss. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a miss. This threatens to win a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is the strongest option. 
it is best. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the rook to safety. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. This moves the pawn to safety. It is best. This misses a great but hard to find move. This threatens to win a queen. It is a mistake. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to win a queen. It is a great move. White was better off, but now their position is winning. It is a mistake. This moves the queen to safety. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a bishop. It is a great move. This loses material. It is a mistake. This wins material. It is a great move. This move puts the rook on a safer square. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. This captures a vulnerable bishop. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. It is excellent. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. This ignores a better way to move a queen to safety. It is a mistake. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. This allows a forced checkmate. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a blunder. This forces an eventual checkmate. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a mistake and black now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even.